Ready when you are. Okay, Dr. B, hit record and then let it run a little bit. Okay. All right. And three, two, one, go. Hi, this is Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today we're going to be talking about exercise, but first uh, I want to give a little sales pitch uh, to encourage you to read my book, Diabetes Solution. I've had type 1 diabetes for 71 years. I'm now 82 years old. Uh, I can exercise very strenuously. I probably look, act, and sound younger than people, uh, than non-diabetics 20 years my junior. And uh, how this happens is described in my book. It involves uh, normalizing blood sugars. It involves uh, frequent blood sugar self-monitoring. Uh, it involves, for many of us, continuous glucose monitoring. And uh, perhaps first and foremost, a very low carbohydrate, high protein diet. The exercise that I do uh, helps, would help anybody achieve longevity. It has to do with something that you could look up on the internet or on our prior videos, something called telomeres. Uh, it's perhaps the only way we know of to increase the longevity of our cell lines throughout our bodies. And uh, people who exercise strenuously have younger skin, younger brains, uh, et cetera, et cetera. We're first going to show uh, a video of uh, me doing a triceps exercise. Uh, it's using a double-ended rope where I pull down and I'm trying to demonstrate proper form, which is important for exercises in general, if, if you're doing weight, lift, weight training. Um, you'll notice that I keep my elbows very close to my body and don't move them. You won't see that my legs are bent. That's very important. I'm almost squatting, uh, but because of the black, dark background, you can't see that I'm uh, squatting while I do this, practically. And uh, I bring my arms around to the sides of my body as I pull the, the rope down and with my elbows held against my body, my hands are going way out to the side and around to the back. And you can see as I do this that one of the three triceps muscles in my arm uh, gets exaggerated. That's the particular one of three muscles that is being exercised. Now, the next uh, triceps exercise that I'm doing is with one hand on a grip. And I do it twice, once with the right hand and the other with the left hand. And you'll see again that uh, I'm following very carefully a special form. And each exercise requires a different form and it's important to learn proper form if you want to get the most benefit. Now here, I again have the elbows against my body and I'm not moving them, but I'm pulling the handle way, way down and then around behind me. And as it goes behind me, you could see another one of the three tricep muscles uh, moving in my arm, in my upper arm. And uh, it's telling you that these exercises are specific exercises for specific muscles. The third video that you're now watching is uh, leg raises. And you'll see uh, blue objects around my ankles. These are uh, little pockets that are holding weights. And I have uh, a total of two pounds on each leg. Now it doesn't seem like very much weight, but if you figure that maybe the whole leg is 15 pounds, uh, uh, this is probably 
about 20% of the weight of my leg. So I've increased the weight of my leg by 20%. Now, I didn't start doing this exercise with two pounds on each leg. I started with no weights. And I started maybe with only 10 lifts. And I fought over time, maybe it took me a year, uh, increased the number of lifts by one lift every time I went to the gym. When I got to 75, I was getting bored. So I started adding weight. And the first uh, weight I added was a half pound uh, to each foot. And when I got over uh, 30 raises, I upped it to a whole pound for each foot. And now I'm up to two pounds for each foot. So we're gradually getting stronger and stronger, even though I'm 82 years old. And likewise, with the other exercises, we, uh, I try to go very slowly. If you uh, replay them, you'll see that I was working very slowly. And uh, after around 80 seconds or so, uh, I lost my strength. I couldn't move. And you could see where I suddenly let go of the handle because I'm wiped out. Um, and that's the ball game. It's called slow burn. There are other names for it. One, one book calls it body by science. And then there's a third name in another book. But the ball game is to uh, ha pick a weight that you can move very, very slowly, lift very slowly, go up slowly with the weight and down slowly and finally get worn out between 60 and 120 seconds. And if you last more than 120 seconds, two weeks in a row, you increase the weight slightly. I bring to the gym a two and a half pound weight that I slide on the stack if I want to get a slight increase. And I gradually increase over time and get stronger and stronger. Uh, uh, the same principles apply to almost any exercise you might do. Now, it's wise to either get a really good instructor to, t to teach you good form for each exercise or to find a book that teaches proper form for exercises. Uh, in my gym, where there are hundreds of people who attend over the course of a week, uh, Almost no one has good form. Uh, I found two people who had good form. One became a close friend. He was an Olympic athlete. And the other, uh, I was amazed at, at, at his muscles, at the gyrations he was able to do with his body and the absolutely perfect form. And I asked him how he learned such perfect form. He said, I'm a ballet dancer. So uh, you don't see good form routinely, and most instructors may not even know good form, but there are ways of finding out, and uh, you have to do a little research. Thanks for watching. Let's see what you could do with your blood sugars and your muscles.